Welcome to my channel, The Spoiler Zone. Your ultimate destination for in-depth analysis and captivating breakdowns of films and series. Alert this video contains spoilers. I would recommend this movie to those who like crime and thriller. Heat is a 1995 American crime film written and directed by Michael Mann. It features an ensemble cast led by Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, with Val Kilmer, Tom Sizemore, Diane Venora, Amy Brenneman, Ashley Judd, Wes Studi, John Voigt, Ted Levine, Dennis Haysbert, and Danny Trejo in supporting roles. The film follows the conflict between an LAPD detective, played by Pacino, and a career criminal, played by De Niro, while also depicting its effect on their professional relationships and personal lives. Mann wrote the original script for Heat in 1979, basing it on Chicago police officer Chuck Adamson's pursuit of criminal Neil McCauley, after whom De Niro's character is named. The script was first used for a television pilot developed by Mann, which became the 1989 television film L.A. Takedown after the pilot did not receive a series order. In 1994, Mann revisited the script to turn it into a feature film, co-producing the project with Art Linson. The film marks De Niro and Pacino's second film collaboration after The Godfather Part II and their first on-screen appearance together following a period of acclaimed performances from both. Due to their esteemed reputations, promotion centered on their involvement. Heat was released by Warner Brothers Pictures on December 15, 1995, to critical and commercial success. It grossed $187 million on a $60 million budget, while receiving positive reviews for man's direction and screenplay, action sequences, sound mixing, and the performances of Pacino and De Niro. The film is regarded as one of the most influential films of its genre and has inspired several other works. A sequel was announced to be in development on July 20, 2022. The film starts with Neil McCauley is a professional thief based in Los Angeles. He and his crew, right-hand man Chris Sheherlis, enforcer Michael Chirito, driver Gilbert Trejo, and newly hired hand Wayne Grow, rob $1.6 million in bearer bonds from an armored car. During the heist, Wayne Grow kills a guard without provocation, forcing the crew to eliminate the other two guards. Later, Macaulay prepares to kill Wayne Grow in retaliation for the deaths of the guards, but he escapes. LAPD Lieutenant Vincent Hanna and his team investigate the robbery. Hanna, a dedicated lawman and former Marine, has a strained relationship with his third wife Justine and struggles to connect with his stepdaughter, Lauren. Macaulay, who lives a solitary life, begins a relationship with Edie, a graphic designer. Macaulay's fence, Nate, suggests he sell the stolen bonds back to their original owner, money launderer Roger Van Zant. Van Zant pretends to agree, but instead arranges an ambush. Anticipating a trap, Macaulay and his crew counter ambush and kill the hitmen. Afterwards, Macaulay calls Van Zant and vows revenge. An informant of the LAPD connects Chirito to the robbery, and Hannah's team begins monitoring him, leading to the rest of the crew and their next target, a precious metals depository. Hannah's team stakes out the depository, but when a careless officer makes a noise, Macaulay aborts the heist. Macaulay's crew agree to one last bank robbery worth $12.2 million. Hannah tracks Macaulay and pulls him over on the 105 freeway, inviting him to coffee. They discuss their dedication to their respective jobs and the limitations of their personal lives, Hannah describes his failing marriage and Macaulay confides that he is similarly isolated. Though they admit their respect for one another, both acknowledge that they will kill the other if necessary. Wayne Grow makes a deal with Van Zant to help eliminate Macaulay's crew. Trejo quits the bank robbery at the last moment, claiming the LAPD is following him too closely. 
Macaulay recruits an old colleague, Don Breeden, to take Trejo's place as the getaway driver, and the crew carries out the heist. Acting on a tip from Van Zandt's bodyguard, the LAPD intercepts the crew as they leave the bank, leading to a massive shootout. Breeden and Chirito are killed, while Macaulay escapes with a wounded Shaherless. Macaulay takes Shaherless to a doctor to treat his wounds and leaves him with Nate. Suspecting Trejo tipped off the LAPD, Macaulay arrives at his house to confront him, but finds him mortally wounded and his wife killed. Trejo reveals Wayne Grow and Van Zant forced him to divulge the bank heist plans before asking Macaulay to kill him. Macaulay breaks into Van Zant's mansion and shoots him dead. Upon learning of Macaulay's connection to Wayne Grow and that the latter is hiding in a hotel, Hannah decides to use Wayne Grow as bait to lure Macaulay. As Macaulay prepares to flee the country, Edie discovers his criminal identity but agrees to go with him. Before escaping, Shaherless attempts to reconcile with his wife Charlene, who has been forced by the LAPD to bring him in. As Shaherless encounters Charlene at her safe house, she warns him away with a hand gesture, and he escapes. Having separated from Justine, Hannah finds Lauren has attempted suicide in his own hotel room and rushes her to the hospital, he reconciles with Justine after they learn that Lauren has survived, although they both agree that their relationship will never work. Macaulay drives to the airport with Edie, but when Nate gives him Wayne Gros location, he abandons his usual caution to seek revenge. Macaulay infiltrates the hotel, pulls the fire alarm, bursts into Wayne Gros room and kills him. As Macaulay returns to Edie, he is spotted by Hannah. Macaulay abandons Edie, fleeing onto the tarmac at the airport, pursued by Hannah. The two stalk each other, and Hannah shoots Macaulay in the chest. Hannah takes Macaulay's hand as Macaulay dies of his wounds. What I understand from the movie is that Heat is a masterfully crafted crime drama that captivates audiences with its gripping storyline, complex characters, and stunning visuals. It remains a timeless classic in the crime genre and a testament to Michael Mann's skill as a filmmaker. The film is also notable for its iconic shootout scene, which is regarded as one of the most realistic and intense portrayals of urban warfare in cinema history. Subscribe and comment for more videos like this and thank you for watching.